Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Fisher and I'm the Volunteer Program Manager at the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast. I've had a lot of people reaching out to me seeing how they can get involved in our shelter and unfortunately we had to postpone all of our volunteer orientations until further notice. So I wanted to create a quick video for you to show you how you can still get involved at home and also earn volunteer hours. This is perfect for families that need to stay home, work from home and have kids at home. This is gonna keep your kids very occupied and you can also get a jump start on their hours for school. I have a list here with different enrichment items. I'm gonna go over everything with you. You can earn hours for all of these things and if you're interested in doing any of them, I would encourage you to send me an email at sfisher at hstc1.org and we can coordinate details. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut hot dogs. You can get five hours to cut three 10 packs of hot dogs. Um, we use these hot dogs to train our dogs and what we do is we cut them into teeny tiny pieces about the size of a blueberry and um, we put four hot dogs in a sandwich bag. All right, so it doesn't matter what hot dog, it can be beef, it can be turkey, the dogs love it either way. So we have our hot dog and you can use a knife or um, scissors. And what we'll do, we'll just cut into fourths. So the hot dogs are gonna be about this size. Okay, and you're gonna do four hot dogs, four cut up hot dogs per sandwich bag. All right, then you can go ahead and freeze it and we can never have enough hot dogs. We have freezers and fridges, so five hours for three 10 packs of hot dogs. All right, next up we have ice trays. We'll give you one hour per two ice trays that you make. And with these ice trays, you'll put in some peanut butter, some water, and some treats. And then I always encourage you to get like a dog treat uh, something like that and then put it in the ice tray and that'll stick out of the ice tray if you can see that and the dog will be able to chew on that and then chew on the ice around it so this really keeps our dogs occupied and these are wonderful so one hour for two trays all right next we have sock water bottles for dogs you will get two hours for one garbage bag all right you'll go ahead Put some treats inside so it jiggles and makes noise. Go ahead and close it up really tight. And if you have a sock, which I'm sure a lot of people have random socks lying around the house that they don't know where the, the other sock is, you'll get that sock. You'll put the water bottle inside the sock like this. Go ahead and tie it real tight. All right, now the dog gets to chew on this, make sounds, and we will throw these in all the dog's kennels. They're gonna have a blast. So for a small garbage bag, uh, you will get two hours. And we have other things other than handcrafting and making things that you can do. We really need foster homes right now. So anyone that's interested in fostering any of our animals, uh, you get two hours per day if it's for like TLC or lack of space foster. Um, the medical fosters, you'll get more hours per day for fostering our medical cases. So if anyone's interested in fostering right now, you'll need to call the shelter to make an appointment, 772-223-8822, extension zero. And they'll be able to make an appointment for you to come in. Another thing you can do if you wanna swing by our shelter, you don't have to get out of the car again. We always need to fold our litter boxes. <laughs> this is my cat, Nani. <laughs> she smells the catnip. Okay. We always need people to fold our litter boxes. Um, so we have cardboard litter boxes that we use for our cats. Um, and for one garbage bag, you get one hour of, um, of volunteer hours for, for our litter boxes. She's distracting me, I'm sorry. We also need brochures folded. So if you wanna fold our brochures, um, one stack, you'll get two hours for bro folding brochures. All right, so that's about it. Um, please feel free to email me at sfisher at hstc1.org and I will coordinate things with you. My cat is eating the hay out of all things. Um, we'll coordinate a pick up and drop off time and we'll coordinate how I'm gonna get those hours to you. All right, well thank you guys so much for tuning in and hope you're all staying safe. Talk to you later, bye.